The pandemic has forced hundreds of thousands of people out of work, but a photographer from Florida has made it his mission to help those unemployed land their next job, and he's driving more than 3,000 miles to do it. Harry Aaron is uh, with us this morning. Tell us more about his mission. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you for having me on. So talk about um, trying to get somebody to look their best for a, a, a new job. Is there a trick to getting the right kind of photo to, to land the job? I mean, lighting is everything. Obviously, not many people are able to make it into my studio when I'm traveling the country. So for those who can't, I highly recommend find your nearest window. Um, usually that will provide you the nice, largest, softest source of light and just keep your face towards that. Here you're doing a, a pay what you can uh, for this for these photographs. How are you funding this? Because I met you're going from Florida to Maine. Uh, how are you funding this trip? Well, um, before the pandemic, I was a photographer yeah. for Getty Images shooting sports uh, around the country. I also worked for a company called Major League Wrestling, which is how I shot in the Chicagoland area. And I used some of the money I had from that before everything seemed to dry up to get this kicked off, to rent studios around the country. Wow. And we just finished the 10th stop of the refresh tour. I ended up going a little over 4,000 miles on that first leg. And now I'm getting ready in preparation for the next set. I'm actually planning my next shoot for the Chicagoland area in the coming months. Boy, maybe you could swing by WGM because we know something about <laughs> bad lighting. <laughs> but anyway, um, I, I'm looking at these photos. They're fantastic. They don't look to me like the typical corporate headshot. Is that intentional or is this, do you have a different approach to this? Well, prior to how everything came down, not only did I work in sports, but I also worked frequently in the entertainment field and professional mm -hmm. wrestling. And obviously a lot of entertainers, both screen and stage, found themselves out of work when everything came down as well. So a lot of the individuals that have come out to meet me have not only been professionals in the fields of you know, law and administration, but they have also been individuals who were musicians or mm -hmm. professional wrestlers, models, actors. And at the same time, I'm gonna offer them the same service that I can anybody else. When you look at those photos and you think about the stories that I'm sure that they've told you about their their situation, uh, what do you what do you think about that that entire experience so far? Everybody has had to take the last few months to really reassess and adapt to obviously rapidly changing circumstances. What may have initially seemed like a short layoff has suddenly turned into an entire restructuring for many people. And I, like many others, am just trying to do my best to adapt to changing situations. I fortunately have all this equipment that I've gathered from years of doing portraiture on a commercial scale. And I have a running automobile that may be a little small for me for the drive, but it does the job. And I've been able to take that around the country, meet a whole a lot of people learn their stories and hopefully make it a little bit easier for them to get their next job. Well, it's an incredibly uh, generous thing for you to do. Thank you for sharing the story with us today. Thank you for having me on. If you'd like to follow Harry's journey, check out HarryAaron.com or you can follow him on Instagram at Harry J. Aaron. Thanks again, Harry. Thanks, Harry. Thank you. Hey, Paul.